The third horseman of the apocalypse is the horseman of famine, who rides the black horse. So what are you starving for? Love? Sex? Money? Appreciation? Power? What about knowledge and wisdom? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Moon Days with Michael. I'm your host, the Royal Archangel Michael, and I am cutting out the esoteric middleman and giving you tools you need to connect yourself right to the source. So the third horseman of the apocalypse, right? Famine, aka the black horse. Now when we are starving for literally anything, it can be power, opportunities, experiences, love, money, whatever. Once we start starving for things, this is when we become desperate and we start chasing things. And what happens when we do that? We start pushing things away from ourselves and actually lose ourselves in the process. So if you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. Now, the most important thing here is the lack of knowledge, wisdom, and awareness in general. The reason for this is because the Horseman of Famine is the horseman or negative or demonic side of the Archangel Uriel, which has to do with knowledge and wisdom and basically teaching you things that you need to learn in order for you to actually move, ascend, resonate with things and actually move on to a different experience, right? So when you start starving for things, you start chasing things, this is literally the opposite because instead of going out and experiencing those things and learning how you're supposed to be learning, because instead of going out and actually learning things and experiencing things, you're not. So you start chasing it, you start desiring it. And once you start doing that, you start actually pushing it away energetically because you're coming from a standpoint of not having it because you just gotta live as you already have it. Before we actually touch on the knowledge and, and wisdom part of this and actually starving for that, let's actually look at the color of the horseman and the color of Uriel in general. Uriel is usually represented by the color blue, but in this case, it's usually a darker blue, almost black. And the horseman of famine is actually the black horse. So let's actually analyze it. So with Uriel having to do with knowledge and wisdom and blue, what exactly does this mean? Well, the blue is almost black. Why? Because black is the color of the realm of all possibilities, basically being able to experience everything and anything that you want. However, what is the blue part? The blue part of Uriel represents the communication, the relationship between Uriel's job of actually relating this knowledge and wisdom to everybody else, which is why he's usually represented by a dark blue. So why is the horseman of famine represented by the color black? It's to represent the fact that you are no longer communicating, you're no longer relating all these things, you are now instead chasing it. It's like diving down into the hole where you have tunnel vision, you can only see one thing, you're only focused on getting one thing. It's very narrow-minded in its vision. You're so focused on chasing this thing that you have forgotten yourself, you've forgotten how to experience, you've forgotten how to relate, communicate, and actually talk about different things in the world and actually learning and experiencing things. Which is why the Horseman of Famine is the horseman side of Uriel. Because the lack of knowledge and wisdom, the lack of awareness leads to many undesirable situations that you don't want to be in. If you don't have knowledge or awareness, then you have no idea how to even start to get out of a situation. You have no idea how to even start doing something, how to start experiencing something. You're so caught up in not knowing how to do things that you can't even do anything in the first place, except for be caught up in a little rabbit hole of you going around in a circle thinking, oh, I want to do this, but I don't know how to do this, but I want to do this, but I don't know how to do this. That's it. It's two steps. I want to do this, but I don't know how. And it just repeats like that over and over again. So no matter what it is that you're starving for, knowledge, wisdom, awareness, experiences, money, power, sex, whatever else you can think of, the more you chase those things as in not having it, the more you actually push those things away. And the whole point of this is to learn how to stop chasing it. Because by chasing it and going through that painful situation of not having it, you actually are able to gain knowledge and wisdom and awareness. With great pain comes great knowledge. And actually going through the experience of not having something and actually being able to change that instead of in, from a chasing mindset, once you actually change your mindset and your state of being into actually resonating with an attractive personality rather than a chasing personality, you can actually bring things to you. You can actually start actually learning and growing and experiencing different things, which is the whole point of the horseman of famine. However, typically it's a very painful experience to go through because it's not like Uriel who's actually wanting to show you things. It's the horseman side. So it's like, you need to learn these things, but you're too caught up in chasing something or not having something or attacking it from a mindset of lack rather than actually going out and experiencing something for you to be able to actually just kind of do whatever you want. So the horseman of famine is all about lacking something. And especially in today's day and age where everybody's always chasing more, everybody's always wanting more. Nobody knows how to appreciate the things that they already have. The more that you start chasing these things, the more that you actually push them away. And so the whole thing about the horseman of famine is actually flip your mindset to a point of chasing to actually just experiencing and bringing that stuff into you and not actually chasing it and actually just going out experiencing it and then realizing that you already have it because it comes to you because you're not so focused on chasing something and pushing something away energetically. See, that's pretty much it. The horseman of famine summed up in a nutshell. The horseman or demonic or negative side of your yell. Stop chasing things, just experience, and let those things find you. So with that being said, we only have one more horseman to talk about, the horseman of death. It's a pretty big one, right? Now, obviously, since it's the third episode and there are only four arch angles, then... Bruh.
There's only one left, right? And that's Gabriel. The horseman side of Gabriel is death, but Gabriel's also death and transformation. So I wonder what the difference is between Gabriel and the horseman of death, but I already know because I'm the one making these videos. So if you want to learn more about the positive side of Uriel, aka the horseman of famine, check out that video there. But until next time, bye y'all.